Salut Sammer and welcome to today's video. This is Garage Rickard. Now I got in touch with these guys a couple of weeks ago. They seem like a super cool garage, mainly a tire based garage, but they also do modifications and some tuning. So as it looks like at the moment, they're gonna help me do pretty much all of the modifications on my car over the next couple of months, which I'm massively excited for. I do love my car, but at the moment it just doesn't really stand out to me it doesn't catch my eye as much as i would like it so what they've just done at the moment is they've taken the wheels off and they've put them in basically what is a dishwasher which i've never seen before and it's cleaned the rims to pretty much new looking i mean my wheels do have a couple of scratches and marks on them they're not perfect but i am going to get them repainted which these guys have already told me they can do i probably will put the wheels in black in gloss black i know that's a bit stereotypical but I just really like the white and black look. However, I'm probably gonna wrap my car. Still don't know what color I'm gonna wrap it. Pink? Pink? No, I'm not wrapping it. <laughs> Ruby stone red. Ruby stone red could look pretty cool on that. At the moment, I'm not gonna keep it a big secret about what color I wrap it because I want your opinion on it. I'm either thinking a type of green a blue i'm not sure but between a green and a blue but anyway back on to today's video the reason the wheels are off is because i'm having the winter tires fitted finally so i can properly drive this car because it's literally been sat at home since i've got it can't really drive it it's been too cold it's been snowing I live in switzerland so yeah that's pretty much what it does here so we're fitting the winter tires on which i'm going to show you in a bit well the first modification if you can call it that i've put the back windows black it's 85 percent darker on the back and the two small side windows which is if you're wondering it's still legal in switzerland in switzerland you can put your back windows pretty much completely black you just can't touch the front uh, the side windows and the front window of course but the back you can do what you want so that was the first small thing i did a couple of days ago now getting the winter tires on which is obviously hugely important so i can use the car so just to show you around quickly obviously got the wheels off they've taken the wheels off cleaned everything everything's looking super good at the moment this is the rickag garage by the way super cool place really impressed with these guys so far got my rims down here looking pretty clean at the moment well this is definitely the cleanest they've looked i would say in a long time and on the in, inside as well everything well this was a big difference to how they look like when they first came off the car Hey dude! What's up? <laughs> like my new Ferrari? <laughs> Check that out, come on. It got, it's got 71 PS. Hate is gonna hate. I think these stickers make it <laughs> faster. A, especially, especially this man. It's a yeah. Space Star style. style. Yeah. Space, dude that is sick. It's so sick. <laughs> so what's gonna happen now is a special machine is gonna do something special. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I've learned. <laughs> This is the boss, the big boss, the man, no, the, the owner. Small boss. The small <laughs> boss, okay, of uh, the Ricker Garage. Are you guys the only people that have? We are yeah, one of three. One of three. In Switzerland. Okay. It they is. look super impressive. How would you sum up the machine in, in like a few words? Basically, it's ultimate perfection of putting a tire on. Yes, exactly. If you will. So the big difference uh, from an ordinary machine is mm -hmm. 
that this machine is also measuring the wheel. Yeah. So if you have a problem with the wheel yeah. and also the tire. So if the, w if the rim was damaged or yes. slightly bent? Yes. Or some, yeah, the okay. machine shows you exactly where yeah. and then you can see if it's repairable or mm -hmm. not. Okay. Yes, because sometimes you don't see it by your eyes. Yeah, so no, of course not. I would have no idea. <laughs> when you compare it to an ordinary machine, you almost don't need any uh, manpower. That's what I noticed as well. The machine pretty much is doing everything and you can see the laser yes. moving up and down at the back. Can you see the roll on the left side? Yeah. yeah. The roll is mm -hmm. pressing against the tire yeah. and simulates the road. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, it knows that it's completely flat on yes. the surface. Yes. Look at that, I'm learning and lots And also today. the pressure, so you have to put the, the maximum of weight yeah. you can uh, press on the tire yeah. and it simulates if it's okay. fine. Perfect. Yes. What else do you do in here? This room we created for, I would say, for prestige cars and performance cars. Prestige cars? Yeah, prestige so, like cars. mine? Yes, exactly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine's not a prestige car, it's only, it's only a Cayman GTS. Bringing out one of the tyres to show you guys quickly. So I'm getting these Pirelli Sota Zeros on. These tyres are just absolutely incredible. These are the winter tyres. As you can see here, the tread pattern and the overall tight is obviously very different to a regular summer tight. Now, I know a lot of people, especially in the UK, still don't put winter tires on. And in Switzerland, you need to put winter tires on. They say, I think anything below seven degrees, you should have winter tires on. And it makes such a huge amount of difference. I cannot tell you, once you've experienced driving with winter tires on in cold conditions, and especially snow, you will really then understand how good they are. There's not many winter tires available for my Porsche. It was quite difficult. Uh, this is one of them. Super happy with them though. They are really highly rated tires, but a set of these costs 1,700 francs. That's right, 1,700 francs. You had to translate that to euros or whatever your currency is to find out what it is for you. but. It is a lot of money. So these are already big tires for my little Cayman GTS. These are 20 inch and they are 265, 35. So yeah, they are big tires for what is quite a small sports car. So when I first uh, did the introduction to my car, one of the things I talked about, which is what I loved about this car was luggage space. I'm just gonna prove that to you now. Look at that. So this is a very exciting box. Inside is my new exhaust manifold. Now we don't have time to fit it today. That will be a separate video. Yes. So these are sole performance headers. Crazy, after posting on Instagram, I was looking for exhaust. These guys sent me a pair of headers within a week. Super excited, they've got cell 200 cats on. So they're still legal, of course, but it's definitely gonna change or increase the power on the car and of course change the sound. Doing the exhaust on your own car is probably, well, it must be one of the most exciting modifications you can do on a car. How epic does this look? So we've got these two uh, P0s on these wheels. Just sat obviously against my car to see how it looks for the future. And I've already decided I am going to get a set of these in spring. This looks incredible. I mean, it changes the car so much. And although the yellow does look actually quite good as well, but bearing in mind, I've got red brake calipers. I would say the red would be the one to go for, but really just completely changes the car so much. Danke schön. Vielen Dank. Bitte. Amazing mechanics here. <laughs> hey, danke schön. Bitte schön. And now we're going to leave and go and get my first drive with my winter tires on 
finally and finish up today taking some pictures with Kimon. It's going to end today's video very shortly. Huge thanks to Rickhag, they have been incredible. It was the best garage experience that I've ever had uh, in Zurich, especially. And we've now agreed, I think they're pretty much going to do all my modifications for me. Going to be doing the lowering, got the wheel spaces coming, exhaust, so many cool things to be done. I'll put a link to their website below, obviously. To end today's video, what we're going to do is uh, we were going to originally head off to take some pictures with Kimon with my car and his new smoke machine which he's <laughs> dying to use but you may have now just noticed I'm not sat in my car <laughs> we're actually now sat in a brand new Continental GT this thing looks insane when we get to the location for doing the pictures Gonna jump out and show you it. it everything is fully blacked out yeah. this is the latest model and it looks insane how many kilometers on the clock 68 68 kilometers on the clock <laughs> so i'm quite enjoying the end to today's video there will be more special things in the planning with such cars yes and kim on we've just been having a chat i would say this year for the cars with luke channel is going to be my most exciting year yeah we're going big definitely going big so here we are we've just arrived at the location pretty cool location for taking some pictures the building in the background massively matching the car got to show you this super quick because uh kimon's in full <laughs> picture <laughs> position slight upgrade to the mitsubishi you turned up in but this is the continental gt that we just drove here in to get some pictures of come on this is full mafia spec everything blacked out let's take a second to appreciate that shall we loving the lights the lights on the bending are definitely a huge uh, thing that stands out especially on the front i'm not sure what they're made out of but it basically looks like diamonds this really makes me want to put my porsche all in black but anyway, like I said, this has nothing to do with the whole um, tie fitting today. This was a very spontaneous thing that I thought I would tag along for. What I do need to show you quickly. So this is uh, this is what Kimon has brought, which is probably <laughs> going to get us into trouble here. A small one, but it really puts out quite a lot of smoke. Yeah, he's just dying to use it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that's next level there. <laughs> okay, for me, it's ciao for now.